Hey everyone, Alex Creative Corner here, back with uh, another video. Um, sorry I haven't been posting in a while, it's been a while. I also go follow me on Instagram, I post a lot on there. There's a lot of new things. Um, so it's Alex Creative Corner. Um, I'll probably put the link in the description. So this tutorial is on, um, on this first nightlight. It's from... Um, how to Train Your Dragon 3, it's from the end of it, um, and it's also probably going to be in How to Train Your Dragon Homecoming, so this is the first one, I'm also going to have a tutorial on the other two, so yeah, this, for this, um, it, it doesn't look like white, because it's not, I, I used, um, um, it, this is solar bands, it changes from white to blue in the sun so you can use that if you want i like it just ignore this it's just from parties um so yeah let's get started first i'm gonna show you how to make the wing you're only gonna need one loom for this and it shouldn't take that long so you're gonna need your loom to be in the rectangular figuration and start with getting your white bands or your solar bands. I'm just going to be saying white, and sorry if there's, like, my dog's barking in the background, so sorry if that's being annoying. But we're going to go down seven times on the top. Okay? So three, four, um, five, six, seven. I don't know if you can hear my dog or not. I hope not. But he's really loud. And then we're going on the second row. We're going down to here, here, and then we're stopping there. We're going to be going down here. And then, so you went down five times. Now you're going to go diagonally here and diagonally here like that. And we're going to, now we're going to take horizontal bands. So still two bands at a time. I'm going to go across there. These holding bands. We're going to go across there. Go across there. And here. And now we're going to take a double looped holding band and we're gonna put it across those two bands. Now we're gonna um, take your hook, um, wrap a white band around five times, get two white bands, pull on the cat band, and reclaim it. And you can place this little thing right there. Now we're gonna make three little spikes for the bottom of the wing, so um, wrap a white band around five times, double loop one, pull this on, like that. We're gonna attach this one right there, like that. We're gonna make two more, so here's one. So here's the second one, and now we're just adding the last one. Okay, we're going to put it right there, so we have three spikes and then this one, and our horizontals, so now we can start looming. Those go right there, go back in here, get those. Make sure you go under the horizontals when you loom and don't grab the horizontals. Just grab the band that you're supposed to be looming. And grab the top two here, loom diagonally, and then go down this row. And yeah, stay away from the holding bands. Now we're going to dig under the spike, loom up right there, 
under there, grab that, bottom two, and dig under this one. I'm going to straighten these out, and it's fine. And now you can get three random color bands, doesn't matter, because we're going to be taking them off very soon. So I'm just going to be using blue, I guess. Sorry, my room is making a lot of noise and it's like going around. I guess my desk is kind of slippery. Okay, so you can put your hook and then you can just pull it off the loom. Okay, so we've got our wing. Go ahead, go back and make one more so you have two wings. And, you, and if they're both bending the same direction, just turn this one around and bend it the other way. So, there, so it's like this. Now you can put those aside. Now we're going to make the legs and feet. They're very easy. So just get three um, three white bands at a time, going down four times only. So one, two, three, and four. Now we're going to get a gray band, and we're going to wrap it around... Um, five times and we're gonna dig under the gray and loom up like that and we can just pull that off and we have one leg you just need to make three more so and you can take this off you can tie it off or you don't have to I mean it just don't mess around so it doesn't come apart Go ahead and make three more so that you have four in all. So you should have four feet, two wings, right, by now. Now we're going to make some uh, spikes. Yeah, spikes. So you're going to need to get your black bands, wrap it around your hook, creating five loops. Get a double looped black and pull on the cat band in reclaim so this is just one spike you're going to need to make four more so that you have five I already made mine in advance so yeah i've got five that now we're gonna start on the body so make sure you have your spikes your wings and all your legs so you're gonna need to change your loom to the offset like this so that looks like this. The um, the longer one's going to be out over here. Um, so yeah, we're going to go down. We're going to go with double looped bands. And we're going to go down two times. So once, twice with double loops. Now with um, two bands at a time, we're going to go right there. And then two right there right there and then two going diagonally like that and diagonally like that um so we're gonna go in the center once more and um we're gonna go down once on the sides this is two bands at a time and then we're gonna go diagonally inwards like that and we can just go um, down right here and then diagonally like that and like that. And we're going to go all the way down um, in the center until we get to the end. Where did I put my bands? I'm going to need to get a few more. Sorry. I got the wrong thing. Just don't mind me. Just go all the way down to the end. I just need to get some more bands. Okay. All the way down to the end. You should know basic looming for this. Now we're going to go down the uh, side.
with two games at a time still. And we're going to stop right here. And now we're going to go do the same thing on the other side. And stopping right here. Now we're going to go diagonal. Still two bands at a time. Okay. Like that. Now we're going to um, get a band, wrap it around five times. Now you're going to need, um, I mean, I guess you could use whatever color you want, but I'm just going to use green because I think that's what the color is, like, in the movie. It has green eyes. Oh yeah, it does have green eyes, so for this one, um, you should use green. Let me, I'm looking for a green. Found. So you're gonna need two greens. How many did, yeah, two. Two greens. Um, okay, so get your hook. Wrap a green around four times. Get a black band, wrap it around four times. Bring over two of the four bands onto this side. Like that, and you're gonna do that again. Wrap it around four times, get a black, wrap it around four times, two of the greens, two of the four greens, and pull them over to this side. So you've got two eyes like that. Now we're gonna get two whites, and we're gonna pull all these on in order. So first the two greens, Four loops of black. Set two loops of greens. Green. The black. And the green again. Okay, so it should be like there and then it's on your finger. And you're gonna put this, um, you're gonna put it right, I'm just looking at my other one. You're gonna put it right here. One and right there and the other goes like that and you can dig into here and grab two of the four loops and place them right there like that so it should look like this now then we're gonna get two bands and put them around here like that and then now we're gonna um, make some little little um, ears or like horns. I don't know what they're called. So now you're gonna wrap a white around four times, five times. Double loop one. Pull it, the cap band on there. We're gonna make one more. These are kind of like the spikes that were on the wings. Double loop one. Pull them on there. Okay, and we're gonna get, two, let me see, just looking on here, two bands, two white bands, pull on like that. We're just gonna place those on one end of here, one right here, and then we're gonna go in between them in between the little ears, grab two of the four band, um, two of the four loops, and put them around that peg. So it should look like this now, like that. Um, now we are gonna do um, double looped white and put it around there. Now we're just gonna do two whites holding bands. Now we're going to do two right there in this little area, and then two right there. So your loom should look like this with your eyes and ears. Um, now we're going to make, now we're going to, don't loom all the way because there's a lot of stuff, that, there's a lot of things that we have to attach. So loom this diagonal and this one. Oh, I think I grabbed the wrong bands. 
Okay, I messed up. Just bear with me. Okay. I'm gonna go in here. Okay, we're looming. This diagonal. I got it. Now, now we're gonna go into here and room up this center like that. Go in like that. We're gonna loom up to here. Stop there. We're gonna loom up um, once and twice. Right here, same thing on the other side. Once and twice. Now we are going to be making like the big ears or horns or whatever. And then, so we're getting black. Wrap it around five times. Double loop one. Um, yeah, double loop one. And then um, you're gonna get three whites. Three. And pull on that little black thing and like that. And now you can have it on your hook, loom this, and slide it onto there like that. So it's on this, on those bands. Now we're gonna make one more. So black, wrap it around five times, double loop of black. Then we're going to. Get three. And, oh, sorry. And then we're gonna go into here, loom this up, and slide this on, just like that. Okay, should look like that. Now, let's see. We're gonna go down. So now we're gonna get our black spikes that we made, we you should have five, go into um, loom this and slide on the black. I'm using my crochet hook because I just use it as a holding hook. Three. Um, four. And five, the last one slide it on there like that now um, we're going to let me see get one of your legs and you're gonna place it so yeah go through the loops of one of your legs and place it right onto this peg like that now we're gonna get and then we just go okay you're gonna loom that just like that now we're gonna get our one of our wings and make sure that these little spikes are facing away from the top away from the head you're gonna go through this first set Take off the tying band. I mean, you don't have to. You could just do that at the end. So wrap it around there. Um, loom up. Go through the next set. Go through the next set. And pull off the tying band. Wrap it around that peg. And then go through the next set. Pull off the tying band. Oh yeah, I forgot to loom, loom this one first before you. So you have this on your hook like this. Um, actually, tie this off again. Sorry, I'm making this hard. Tie this off again so you have you 
you place the middle set on here, then loomed up, and then you have this one left over. You're going to now get uh, a leg. Okay. We're going to go through those loops, and we're going to attach this on this peg. Then we can go into these sets on the wing and attach this and attach these loops on to this peg like that like that so it should look like this now you can dig all the way down and grab the very bottom two bands and loom right there and then you can loom this diagonal now we're going to do the same thing on the other side, so go through the loops of uh, a leg, wrap around here, like that, now you can loom up to there, get your last wing, spikes facing down, or like away from the head, pull off the tying band, Attach that right there. Go through the second. Oh, and loom. Then loom this. Now we're gonna go through the second set. Pull off the tying band, and then attach it onto that peg. Then go in there, loom it up, and don't attach on the third yet. Go into your your last foot. Go through the loops and attach this um, curving down if it's curving. Um, I made a little mistake here. I'm just going to fix my mistake quick. I accidentally pulled out some of the bands. Just adding them back on. Sorry. Okay, Okay, I have them on my hook, I'm going to attach it right there, then we can get the last wing set, take off the tying band, and attach it right there. If you're not comfortable taking off the tying band, go down here, then, um, then just attach it with the tying band, make sure you go through all the right sets, or all the right bands, and, um, then you can take it off at the end. Okay, we're gonna go in here and grab these two bands that go diagonally. And then go under a lot of the bands and then these two. Go all the way to the bottom, grab the bottom two, and stop right there. Now go into here. And then to there. Once you get to Oh, I made a mistake. Um, sorry about this. So take up off these top two bands and these two. And then go, so you have these two there. And then these that you left loose, put back there. And then these sets go there. I'm going to do the same on this side. So take off the top two bands, leave them on your hook. Then with your fingers... Take off these two diagonal bands, just leave them loose like that, and with your hook, go back in here so you have those two. You can take these loose bands and put them back diagonally like that, and replace these two. And then loom this diagonally downwards, and then this diagonally, like that. And you can just all the way down, grab the bottom, double loop band, and then this one. Your, your thing should look like this. Sorry if I'm going really fast, I'm just... Yeah, so it should look like this. Now you can go into the very end and get a random color and tie it off. Now we can start taking off this from the loom gently. Take it off. It might come out weird. Eyes might be upside down and stuff like that. But we're going to adjust it. And it's not done. We still have to... Um, finish off the tail. We have to add some things to the tail. 
and we also have to add on the belly. Shouldn't take too long. This is probably the hardest part. One of the hardest parts that we have to do in this project. Okay, I'm gonna take it off. So mine looks like this. You can pop out the eyes. You can pull these little horns out a little bit. And just position the horns how you want them. Or like the ears. And then the feet might be scrolled out. I'm gonna wire mine at the end. I don't um but if you're not, if they're all if the feet are just all sprawled out, so it's like this, go into this these the set and tug the opposite direction and they should be facing a little more down so go into here tug it'll be down a little bit hopefully tug them it's a little weird right now we're not done okay so this is what it should look like then you got your wings. Okay, now with our black. This part's a little hard. So we're gonna change our loom so that it is in the rectangular. Get double looped black, go across these two. Double loop black right here. Now, um, now we are going to go with double loop black um, from here diagonally into the center. We're also going to do that right here. And then we're going to go down like this with a double loop black. Now we're going to take a double loop white and go right there. Double loop white right there. Now we're going to go diagonally inwards and diagonally inwards right there. And then we can go with black. You can go down twice. So once and twice. Like that. So your thing should look like that. We're not done. We're going to make two little um, spikes. Or four. So grab your black wrapped around five times with a capping band. Um, double loop of black. Pull in the capping band. Um, Reclaim. We're going to attach this one onto this peg. Now let's make one more black one. So five times, double the black, pull on the capping band, reclaim. And you're going to put that right onto this peg. Now I'm going to make two more, but these are going to be white. So wrap one white around five times, double loop one. Pull on the cat band. Wrap that around there. And then double loop. I mean, um, wrap around five times. Double loop the white and pull on the capping band. Now we're going to reclaim this and place it on right here. So it should look like this now. Now what we're going to do is just take a black band, double loop it across there. Actually, you don't even need to do that. We're just going to get our dragon, go into this end little set at the very back, pull off the tying band, and place it up. A little mistake. Oh, 
sorry, made a little mistake. Just yeah, go through that last double loop set on your dragon. You can place it right there like this and then you're gonna dig down grab the double black and then loom them to there and then grab the top two um, diagonal white there and then these next two diagonal right there and then the middle black you're gonna loom that to right there and then these top two loops of this diagonal black and to there and going to there. Now we're going to go under the spike and all the bands at the bottom. Double looped. And then go all the way under. These black all the way down. These double looped. All the way down. Grab these bands. Like that. Sorry if that was hard. Sorry if I went too fast. You could pause it if you get behind. So now with a black band, you need to tie this off. and tie this end off. Now we're gonna go and we're gonna gently take it off because they are um, they're double loop bands so don't pull them too hard. When you have your little tail it should look like this right now. Your tail should look like this. Um, and you're gonna, with your tying bands, go into like this set right here and get this tie, tied off band and pull, pull it through. We're just gonna be basically weaving it through. So we're gonna go under here, grab the band and pull it through. Then go into here, grab the band, pull it through it through and we're gonna keep pulling it through until you can't really see anymore you can also just like once you pull it through a few times you can wrap around the tail a little bit now with the other side we're gonna go into this little set right there pull through that capping band going through the back uh, um yeah going Go through there. Pull into here. And then you could just wrap it around tail. So you have your little dragon like this. Now we're going to um, make the belly. And this is with all double looped bands so um with double and it's all double looped white but i'm using solar bands of course um you want <coughs> excuse me we're gonna change our loom again to offset like like that we're gonna go with our double looped bands, just moving this a little bit. Sorry about that. Um, we're double looping and we're gonna go down the center. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. So one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, like that. Now we're going to, from the side, we're going to go diagonally like this. And diagonally from this side. And we're going to go down three times. So, one, two, three and three times on this side 
and we're double looping them this whole time on the belly. Three, and now we're gonna go double loop diagonally inwards like this. And from there diagonally outwards like this. And we're gonna go down one, two times, two times. So here's one, here's two. We're gonna do that on the other side. These bands are really stiff, so it's kind of hard for me to double loop them quickly. Or, I mean, it kind of hurts. Double loop, put it right here. And right there. I'm just going to straighten out my bands because they're like really, they're not straight. of mine accidentally came off. Sorry, I keep messing up a few times. Okay, now we're gonna do our um, holding bands. Just, we're still double looping them across. And we're doing triangles. And here, then we're gonna go across here and here, and we're gonna get a band we're gonna wrap it around five times here, and then we're gonna get a band and wrap it around twice right here. And wrap it around twice right here because we're doing like the loose bands things so we're getting two bands laying them right here and we're going to push down all these pegs and we're going to lay so there's two on this peg and then there's we're just going to lay one on all of these pegs so one here 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 there there and there don't but don't put one on the end and don't put it don't put any here 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 or here so now just ignore those and make sure that they don't fall off if they fall off put it back on because we're going to loom over them and those are those are what um we use to attach the belly to the body so this is the bottom jaw and then this is like the belly around twice. Sorry. We dig down, grab those, and then those, and then those. And we're gonna dig down in here. We're gonna grab the two bands that are supposed to go diagonal. I'm trying to find them. get it for some reason sorry this is not working out I mean, I'm just not getting it. Those there, and then... Oh, I broke it. Oh no. Well, broke it. That band. Well, then I'm just gonna... Okay, I keep messing up. Just 
ignore this part. Unless you're being broke, do what I'm doing. So I'm getting a new one. I'm taking off this right there and this. Something like that. Double it. There. Then we need to touch that on. And this too. So I'm going to push that. Dig into here. Using a helping hook. Okay, this part is might be really confusing. I'd be confused, so don't. Okay. And make sure that your band is still on there. And loom that. Okay, so I got both of the diagonals. That was really hard. It took a long time. Okay, and we're going to place that right there. Now we're going to go all the way down, grab the bottom two, and loom these down the middle. The middle shouldn't have any loose bands on it. And now we're just going to loom over the loose bands. But make sure they don't fall off. And we're going to loom diagonally and loom over the loose bands. Like that. Now we're going to get two, um, two white bands. We're going to go into here and tie off with both of them. Like that. So it's extra strong, and we also need them for it. The belly. Okay. Now we can gently take it off, but gently because they're double loop bands. If it snaps, then you'll have to start over. And they'll probably snap easily. Bands, but right here it's just gonna be like two, like that. And on the neck part where there's where you have two band, where you have two bands, pull one to each side. So one band can be pulled to this side, and the other band. Okay, so I pulled out two bands, so there should be the bands fully out like this, so yeah, it should look like this. Now get your nightlight dragon, and just lay it like this so that the jaw is like under the head, and it just looks like that. So now we're going to go in to this set, like right here, like right in front of the ear. Now, um, we're gonna go like the set that the ear's in, like that, and we're gonna grab the these two bands, that those two that we put there, and pull them through. Now we are going to go into this set, the neck area, and pull through the next loose band, like that. Then we're going to go right here, pulling and expand, next set, pull through the, oh, pull through the loose, the loose band, um, then go into here, 
pull through the loose band. Okay, like that. So you pull it through there. And then we're going to go into this um, set. So we're going to go into this little diagonal set right there. Pull through. Now at the end there's two bands there. Grab or go through right here. Um, just two bands and pull through one set. And if you have two hooks or like a pencil or something, you're just gonna get like a pen and stick it through that band. We're gonna take it off in a, in a pretty soon. So so it should look like this. It looks like that for me. And we're gonna push that like that. And so go into this set where we where we get these two bands like we did on the other side behind the ear so pull it through so it's on your hook go into there pull that loose band through next set loose band pull it through pull the next loose band through And pull it through again right here and now the last one at the end we're gonna pull through the bands so now we have this band right here on your hook and then this one on your pen or pencil or your hook or something and now we're gonna have them both on our hook like this we're gonna um now, uh, you are going to need to get a C-clip. Okay, got one. And so you have these two bands. You're going to put the, put them on, or actually don't, don't put them on the C-clip yet. So... Put these two on your fingers so you're holding them. Get your hook, go into the belly right here and out through the back end like this and grab those two loops and pull them through. You're gonna want to, uh, I missed it. Keep making big mess ups. Please excuse them. Okay, grab those two bands. So they're on your hook like this and pull them through the belly. Now you're going to put your C clip around the bands. I might have gotten a few extra, but I don't know which is which. So I'm just going to put the C clip around all of them. might take a few seconds, take a little while for you to do it. Or you get the bands onto the C-clip. Just, okay, got them. So the C-clip's right here on the side and you can just stuff that into the belly. So it's in there like that. So now you have your little nightlight guy so it's got the wings and the legs are all sprawled out, but you have the the head and the mouth should be able to open and close like that, and you've got the belly. So now um, I'm going to show you how to make the legs point down. You can also wire it. That's what I did on my other one, so it can stand perfectly. So go through these top the top set in the leg and pull it away like that, and it should be facing down better. Same thing on the other side, go through the top set with the leg, pull it out, like that, pull them a little bit, 
it might be a little bit more straighter or facing down and on the last leg I'm probably going to end up wiring it so I don't need to do this and just pull them and adjust it you can adjust the whole thing to your liking really um, and then you can also change the colors up if you want but I'm just making the ones from the movie so I'm going to make other videos on the other colored ones soon but I need I don't have a lot of time to do them so yeah you have your little night lights I didn't wire the wings on this one so you have your little night lights um, so I'll show you how to make the other ones in another video soon but yeah this is the one I made in the video this is the other one they're pretty much exactly the same I'll show you how to make the other colors soon. So yeah, you can wire the legs. It's probably best if you wire the legs. And then this one can change color in the sun because I made it with solar bands. So um, like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Alex's Creative Corner. Um, share the video so other people can make this. Um, you can also like just you can go to instagram and follow alex creative corner um because i do a lot of cool things on there i also crochet on there i made this colored nightlight on there um, and yeah so thanks for watching see you in the next video bye